to go. Next up, we have Dylan Bowker from My MMA News. Oh, my first question there was for Christian, just because there's been some level of dialogue so far about a one championship show transpiring in America. I'm kind of wondering what would the temperature be for you on performing on a show in America under the one banner? I would love to, you know, be the first person to headline an event when one championship comes to America. You know, I live here in Hawaii. This is my home. And, um, you know, so America is, is where I live. I would love to, to headline that event. And I think that, you know, one championship coming to America would be very big. Um, there's already a very strong following of people that, you know, watch every single one championship event or watch it on the rerun because, uh, you know, the time zones are very different. But I think that if there was a one championship event to come here, primetime U.S. Um, U.S. show, then, you know, it would just build a huge following of fans for one championship here in America. And um, I hope to see, you know, more, more and more shows able to come to America by next year. Yeah, that would be awesome for sure. And my follow-up question here is for Angela, because when I was speaking with your sister, Victoria, ahead of her last fight there, she was talking about how it was cool that you were able to reintegrate yourself into training, you know, do some drills again. I'm kind of curious to hear your perspective, just being able to, you know, get back to it alongside your sister in her burgeoning fight career. I really missed being um, on the mats with my siblings. And so I was very excited to get back. Um, I did have to ease myself into it. Um, for me, that was difficult because I like to just go 100% and my mind remembers where I left off. Um, but yeah, now that we're kind of past that stage, I'm kind of getting back into, you know, more serious training. It's so nice to see, um, you know, just how much Victoria has been progressing and, um, you know, really making a name for herself in the organization. So I'm very, very proud of her. Appreciate the insights in that regard. And my final question here is for Victoria, because I was noticing your primary training partner there, Adrian Lee, captured his first national title there. Can you speak to the work you were able to get within him recently and just how great that was? Great as always. Oh, it was awesome. Earlier this, um, earlier last month, my little brother was able to win his first national title and, um, I believe he won it in two divisions and I was just so proud of him. I've, he's been such an amazing training partner for me um, throughout all of my fight camps. And, and um, yeah, I'm just so lucky to have him as a little brother and as a training partner.